go and arrest those land grabbers. There are people who are stealing taxpayers' money. Go and arrest those people who are brutalizing Ugandans, who are violating our country's constitution by mating out all manner of untold suffering to Ugandans. Those are the criminals that you should be going to arrest, police and the army. Um, we, of course, like I'm saying, this, this is done to try and intimidate our people. Um, but ours is to remain as strong as we possibly can, to remain as resolute. All these things get to happen in a dictatorship like this one we are living in. He's afraid. He's afraid. So let's get stronger. Let's, let's get a lot more determined. Uh, these, as far as we are concerned, are kicks of a dying horse. This morning, we are going to unveil the official poster of Honorable Chakuranji Senator Murabachi. Uh, who is going to be the presidential candidate for the National Unity Party? And um, our leaders will be doing that. But even as we, we get set to do that, we have concerns. We have concerns. Um, you get to see within the city and other parts of the country posters our presidential aspirants, soon to be presidential candidate, Honorable Chagula Center, were being pulled down by police and the army. But on the other hand, we have seen posters of Mr. Museveni being put up by police and the army. It's a bit disturbing. Um, we don't know. Well, it's possible that Mr. Museveni hired the police to put up posters for him. Uh, I, I, I don't know if police would allow to put up posters for Honorable Chagula. But the double standards are what is disturbing us as a party. That on the one hand, police is participating in pulling down posters of Honorable Chagulani, they put them on their police trucks and take them God knows where. But at the same time, we see that the same police and the same army are participating in putting up posters of Mr. Museveni. You know, police, whatever we say that they are very biased and they are very partisan, they will deny and say, no, for us, we serve everybody, we are out to make sure that. Um, all Ugandans get to benefit from our services. We are not seeing that, unfortunately. So these are the double standards. And uh, our call to the Electoral Commission, which is the superintendent of this process, is can we deal with these double standards? Because there are laws which provide that posters of aspirants don't get to be pulled down by especially their opponents. The Electoral Commission is looking on as Honorable Chagulani's posters are being pulled down. Meanwhile, the same police and the army are putting up posters of Mr. Museveni. We want to hear the Electoral Commission on these yeah. matters. We want them to speak out. Speaking out of these matters. We hear them talk about the roadmap and all these different things, and that's all right. But as the in charge of the electoral process, we want to hear them speak out of these matters. Why are posters of one aspirant being pulled down? Meanwhile, posters of another aspirant are being pulled, are put up by the same people who are pulling down those of the other. We hope that the Electoral Commission can be able to speak out. And they will say, well, we have not seen these things happening. You have seen them in the media, and we are telling you about them now. So let's not pretend like these things are not happening. The Electoral Commission was largely quiet. The organization of one of the and you were being thwarted. And yet, as the superintendent, they came out to say, it's all right, it's provided for within the law. Go ahead and do this. So, Electoral Commission, please stop being quiet. If you are as independent as you say you are, speak out on these matters. Let's see you take charge, because you are in charge. You're supposed to be in charge of the electoral process. Ugandans many times have said the Electoral Commission is not in charge. And the EC comes out and says, no, we are actually in charge. We want to see you in charge. We want to see you coming out as the people that are taking charge of this whole process, condemning these acts and taking action if you're in charge, if you are as independent as you say you are. You know the Supreme Court in 2016 gave out 10 recommendations, not suggestions, uh, in regard to how the electoral process can be run better, things to do with donations by the incumbents, the parks that are available to his office and how he gets to misuse them, and so on. All those 10 recommendations were not acted upon. The only thing that was acted upon was changing the name of the Electoral Commission from Electoral Commission to Independent Electoral Commission. As if 
That would make them independent. But anyhow, if they say they are as independent, let's see them take action on these matters. Um, for the sake of our Luganda media houses, it's okay that there are things that you have to do with if you get a mass, you can work with Rafi, Papa Quata, Polisi, Namaji, but you get a mass with Chicola, is a good about this Rafi. Chicum is a Kubanga, about the Papa Quata, the Vainam Sam. You must have from Java, but I'm so far you, our Ravachal, you, but we have a few people after we have a few people, but I'm a committer. Near police, Namaji took us almost and got to Kamba. I want to go to Quata. So police, tu ba gamani mukolo muri mukwa muinga mukwa tabo abamu nyama teka na ye okuwagira NUP ne ono bucha gulani senta mu ogutegube da musango police gena ne gamani ya fedi tu ina che kubira tu eliza ba na Uganda ba na ba na ngabo chino kubira ne ati katichino chida gira dala ti police na maji ati ba ina che kubira ba ba kubaya ba kuwa ba mnyi ba misango ne ati ne ba lumba ne ba tulugu nyaba ogizwa NUP lokubanga ba ogira NUP lokubanga ba wakira unro vuchagula nyise ndamu wakutali musango so police tuda mba so moza buwe mba anga temu ina cheku wira nga buwe mga amba katuwalabe nga muwele zaba na Uganda buna buna awatali kusosola awatali gama njaba naba NRM bote wali buzibute rujia bako atako wabaye NUP botu bako ati tupasibide dala unako uruwa lero tukenda kutongo za posta unro vuchagula nyise ndamu jage ndo kukoze sa ichifana nchage Campaign. Nenga bo tutongo za postage. Chifana nchi no. Tu ina ukwe mulugu nya fe. Tu zetu laba polisi na maje. Nga ba wanula ebi fana nyi biya onrobo cha agula nyi. Babi jemu vivuga. Ne babi teka kuzikabanga li zaabwe. Ne babi tuwala wate tunatege ila wawe wawe tuwala. Ne hata inga weba kolecho. Tu lebe polisi na maje. Nga boke nyini bebati imba ebi fana nyi biya muami usebe ni. Kentu gamba soko oleke. Polisi na maje, muli mkuwanu lewipande vya unro buchagula nyi, ne mbi wamba, ne mbi tuwala. Ne ate, mkutimbe vifana nyi vya mwai museveni. Haba wakizi wesibe vya vitimba. Polisi na maje, beba timba, vifana nyi vya mwai museveni. Ketunateke iloba, kubanga uli waba kutela vifana nyi uluso, umu wade ya kasente, ateke vifana nyi, vifana nyi nachi. Ketunateke iloba polisi, mwai museveni, yaji wada kasente, mamutele vifana nyi. Nefe, echisinga, Okutucha ankala nyange chibina. Ndi akachiku kebe okulonda electoral commission. Aka ino vuna njizi waku nsonga zino. Teka vayo. Nika vumirida teka vayo. Nika kwa sisomu. Kono uwe chuma. Ba... Ewipande vya muno. Kuwa kumenya mateka. Ate polisi na maje. Teba ina kueta ba mnsonga zino. Kuwa katiba wali mkutimba wifana njivya mwa M7. Akachiku kebe okulonda electoral commission. Tuba somoza. Bumbanga mwete ngedi dingabu mugamba. Bumbanga temuina chekubira. Mufeyo mwogere kuhunsonga zino. Mufeyo mvumidile ebi kuruwa vino. Mufeyo kubanga nobu inza mbuina. Obu sivisa. Abe itaba mjibu kuruwa vino. Kubanga mga manti mweta ingele da. De, neri nyamuali chusa. Wakufa ku electro commission. Kati muiti wa independent electro commission. Nga mga manti yafe. Ituina chekubira. Bumbanga temuina chekubira. Kubaba na yugana baba lumiriza. Nga baga manti. Mm, Ensonge zimu temuzi kuata vulunji. Ensonge zimu. Chila gira dalanti muina che kuwira. Aka chiku kebio kulonda. Tuba somo za fenga NUP. Muveyo. Okufu milida abu. Aba onula. Ibifana nyivya flag bearer wafe. Kuwa presidenti. Muveyo mufu milide polisi. Okweta amu politics. Katinga bati imba. Ibifana nyivya mwai museveni. Wange chuchiveda chichamu. Kakati. Chize. Eri jemuli. Nga kachiku kebio kulonda. Katuli netulabe. Chemuna ayokera. Ida. Chemuna akula. I'm going to invite. Um, our deputy president in charge of uh, northern region who has just come back from uh, a tour of the region she's done incredibly helped us to identify candidates in northern uganda she and her team helped us to 
set up offices in northern Uganda and uh, there's a lot of work that is going on in northern Uganda. Uh, she will begin by giving us an update about what's going on largely in the north and then she will delve into other matters. Uh, Comrade Zedriga Lina, Waru, please come and talk to us. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. NUP. Everywhere. And everywhere. NUP. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You give me a lot of reason to be present and alive as we witness today's event, which is yet another milestone where we are going to unveil the face of our president's campaign poster. We have been pushed into doing this. We have been pushed by the military. We have been pushed by the RDCs. We are being pushed by the presidency. I bring you a lot of greetings and solidarity from Northern Uganda region from West Nile, from Acholi sub-region, from Lango sub-region, from Teso sub-region, up to Karamoja. We have embraced the new reality that people power prevails and red is what we are going to paint Uganda. West and our, our, our colleagues have actually launched a very innovative campaign, the Red Command. And we are... We, the Red Command. So we are part of that and we are definitely going to take it to the next level. I've been asked in the interest of time to share what is the status in terms of NOOP activities in northern Uganda. I wish I could only be celebrating. I have three things to celebrate. We have successfully nominated our candidates across northern Uganda, for members of parliament, incredible people. The community is very resilient, and also those that are for other levels. We have opened up our office, regional office in Gulu, with amazing staff and volunteers and other foot soldiers. We are in the process of opening and fully having in place a fully-fledged office in Arua for West Nile sub-region. Lango sub-region is also fully uh, uh, opened. Karamoja awaits a few support in terms of uh, the rent because it had not been quite easy with the presence of the military at the highest level, uh, General or Brigadier Guti, who is following this uh, to ensure that NOOP does not even see the, uh, the, the, the light of day. And it is amazing that we are not only seeing the light of the day, we are also there throughout the day in this political space. We want to thank each one of you. You have come physically. You have sent us letters of encouragement. Flavia is perpetually just saying, Lena, hang in there. Hang in there. Do not, do not throw that towel. Thank you so much. All of you, all of you, we have submitted our signatures for endorsing the presidency. And <laughs> so today, I am humbled and, and rightfully have earned to be here. I want to thank the team of the head office here, we, uh, flanked by the Secretary General here pre present, for the vote of confidence that today the, the Vice Presidency of Northern Uganda helps to unveil our presidential campaign poster. But I also would like to share with you the journey, very muggy, very military, milita militarized, monetized, and whatever tized, except not sanitized, okay? <laughs> so, this Despite the fact that we have opened these offices and we also have candidates, a number of our candidates have actually been arrested. One example is the one standing against uh, the Minister of Internal Affairs, 
uh, JJ Otongo, our comrade, was arrested on his nomination day and he spent three nights when the team in solidarity went to Amuria Central Police Station. They were informed by the police that, you know, we do not have actual interest in this. It is the RDC and the OC station. So let us note those characters. And we also shift our own responses and concerns to these individuals. I also would like to share with you people that the militarization has gone up to the presidency where the senior presidential advisor Afande Naloiso wrote a letter to Samuel Ngola in his response where he was seeking for funding and presidential support to make sure that NUPA activities in northern Uganda does not see the, 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 the light of day. Thank God. Thank God we are very prayerful people. We got a copy of the letter. And let us circulate it. Signed by them. I have duly shared it. They were thanking Sam Engola for making sure that nope, we do not hold meetings. And especially in Lango sub-region, it takes me to my second point, complete media blackout. The media owners Association of Lango Sub-Region brought it to our attention that they are on notice by the state that they should never host NOOP activities. If they do, there are two results. One, their licenses will be revoked. Yes. Instilling fear. And if by their call as they launched it, that we are going to have scientific campaigns. The whole of Lango sub-region, the media owners and, uh, 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 and media house owners and, their, and, and the journalists who are practicing are threatened with arrest and closure of what brings bread to their table. It's a very hard choice, isn't it? So the attack is not only on media, I'm, I'm on, on Inup. The attack is specifically, actually, on the media in the Lango sub-region. So what are they doing? How are they responding? Some are, are giving us very exorbitant fees to ensure that we do not, that Inup does not afford it, and so we are not on air. Or they actually do not cost us at all, or whatever we send on air is not aired out. This is a total blackout put in, in writing. The second, our own Secretary General coming from a media house was arrested last week on Saturday. You see? So even going to participate in this forum is totally militarized. In Noya, as one of our comrades, full soldiers deep in the village was collecting the signatures. He was attacked by military. In fact, his one eye, he might even lose it. Somebody in Noya. In Karamoja, as we talk, one of the women, and may her soul rest in peace. She was attacked, not only attacked by the military, Simply because she supports uh, Noob candidate, um, she was shot dead in Lugwala, Karamela, Karakadong village, Nadoi Parish. She has left a baby of five months old. What was her crime? She's a supporter of Noob. Dead. And the list goes on and on and on. But this should not let us be in the book of lamentations. No. It must inspire us to go to the Acts of the Apostles where we are and create the revelation in terms of a new Uganda. We are launching our campaign poster today 
But soon, we're also going to launch our campaign manifesto, which is human-centered. Human-centered. It's about the participation and equal participation voice of the people of Uganda in the process, in the democratic process. What, what do we say when we are talking about a new Uganda? A new Uganda, which is our slogan. A new Uganda where it is okay to be who I am. A new Uganda where I am secure and I know when I leave Kawempe, I'll be going back to Kawempe with all my senses and all my parts. Right now it is not sure. We are not sure if, we will go, if I will still go with my head. As we speak, there's a lot of tear gas happening. As we walk, this beret, some people are in the hospitals. The list is so long. So a new Uganda of safety and security of the person and property. A new Uganda of transformational engagement, not cash on delivery, not putting cash for five billion on Elena. No, that five billion, the communities must be able to decide what are their priorities. A new Uganda of consultation and equal participation, not of insultation and being participated. Enough is enough. A new Uganda, where it is okay to be a Lugwari, where it's okay to be a Muganda, where it's okay to be a Munyankole, where it's okay to be a Catholic, where it's okay to be a woman, and where it's okay to be a man. A new Uganda for the, for the respect of uh, consciousness. A new Uganda where it's okay to go to the place of worship and to pray to the Lord. A new Uganda where we are going to be called to account. A new Uganda where we are going to be having the public auditors. A new Uganda where we are going to say and walk the constitutional provisions in practice. The constitution, the little that has been left of it because our constitution is totally raped. We want to reclaim it. We want to soothe the hearts of Ugandans. A new Uganda, where we are going to say, here at the forum, we made many wrong turns, historical injustices. A new Uganda, based on human rights, human dignity, love of ourselves, love of our new neighbor. A new Uganda where we are going to be holding the resources in the trust for the unborn. Our power. power. People, People power. power. A new Uganda where it's okay to speak. A new Uganda where it's okay to be a journalist. Where it's okay to be a doctor. Where I can practice as a lawyer without having to go and bribe or sleep my way out for a good judgment. A new Uganda. That is for Ugandans. I speak this for God and my country. NUP and everywhere. NUP. And please, I would like us to remain on that high note because we have the power. Because they have the, we have the power and we have also managed to push them on defense. That's where they're looking for all kinds of militarization and, and whatever. But people power supersedes that. That's why we are preparing to unveil, not only unveil our president's poster, but also on the third, walk and, and witness in practice his very successful nomination. And there will be none like it in ever in Uganda. So, on that note, I would like to end by saying that uh, the militarization and monetization, let it, let's not even talk about it. When it comes about, let's, let's not even see it. Let's not give them prominence. Let's take them into invisibility. The tearing of posters in Igulu on last Saturday, these guys came. On two, on two border borders at 10 a.m. and they took our our beautiful 
portrait of the president and tore it into pieces. And this has gone on and on. They have even uh, gone ahead and removed all. And it is a project. They call it the invisibility project. But they will not succeed to remove the image in each of our hearts. They will not succeed to remove it from our ballot and the power of the people. So let us remain focused. The most critical is what our hearts contain. And together, definitely, we are creating a new Uganda. So I'm humbled to be part of the group today to unveil this. And I want to thank each one of you for being present as we create this history by choice, not by chance. In Lugwara. In Iluo. Our the four, our the four, Angiri, Angiri, and Rodudo, see? Ama and Roba, and Bo, and Gapi, and Madrid, Sepi, the Maposta, Odi, Beretti, Coco, the Edda, Woodrikuru, Mini. Eyo de bikina a uh asimuke seko as kuni ba military adiki iki a meda iki o si iki anziki o bi o su jua iki ba uduku dupi diki o su jua a mavu ru de alira pale a muki radio station yako tv station yako o pia fara iki waroti ata wara gazinga president vele office ya basi kini sa mengola ni awa di fo eyo di ni de Amoduku opizo amati opizo tiri awadisi. Ani afangapi amani opo fepi di alo aleki Uganda odi aleki Uganda mani nizura bazi choni paso madriliako mani nizura ideala aazo mai mani nizura mecho yonze mani lelerile mani nizura kini afa usu. Amani vini zi amaidi Ani bani amu dizoko Anzi amavile ngiri diki u dizoko Ani le asokipa Kiri 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 Amavu ndraba pasopi Candidate ruwe mupi parliament ya nosko Amavu local council adi Awadifoe mini Awadifoe mini paso zo uri kokorisi Ani le ametiki di titu alu Amu kia tidi Ama otoki Uganda odi Uganda ngapi a api ya manzi ni muke Uganda ngapi ya api ya mani Onyiru Pa zinga kini ya niya paku Nosiku Uganda opendu koko Uganda latara Uganda mani ya mabiznesi yezo Tualo Uganda mani ya manzi Tima pezo sikulwa Tualo Arua mavu wa wadia A manzi kia babasi ya Bazi na muangu wa garezi ya Ale Uganda Anzi ki sikulu la arua dia Anzi ki sikulu la arua dia Amani iki ndrekilili. Uganda otoko koko. O, Uganda amani tozo nizura. Kini maa mali azika awe raba azio choni maonya aniko. Uganda haka mukotia. Ani ra me choni judge da je zeko. Uganda ya paso pe yu hadasiri. Leta aleki. Amesuki da tu alo. <laughs> Atu alo. Asokipa kilili. Asokipa. E yu amavu di hari kisi. Ani. Amanga Uganda odi di situ alo di ni ba? Awa di fo. A fo yo ma tek. Tin nindo ma dit. Tin watika nyutu. Posta ma nyen. Paladit. President. Wa. Pien posta mu karene. Uruku beret. Chi ibalot. Ikumbalot pepa. Chal megeni pe bedu kigine ki beret. Chi tin wabi nyuru gine posta en anjim. Mea rio. Wakati ki lok lok pa military lumonyi. Maduong lumonyi. Mati ka guok ka dongo gine lobo en. Lumonyi. Dong. Machalu ya noya. Gugoyo. Ngarimo ni pien. Obedu ka gamu signature pa 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 dano chi wa watamuni wa yubu Uganda anyim wa manyen wa wa yubu Uganda manyen Uganda manyen 
Me neno ni bedu be ka in uh, uh, ngaracholi bedu be ka in nya lango bedu be ka in nya karomojong na bedu be ka in la uh, uh, muganda bedu be ka in la katoli bedu ba ka in islam bien wane ye way yubu uganda en ba na rumo ni pere we ko wa we a luoro luoro dongo makwa bien gitika goywa ento en wengi big gig kawa chung karachel afoyo matek Our default angiri, Uganda or Choco Coco, Agasi. Hey, Mama, what does Uganda or Choco Coco mean? Uganda or Choco Coco? Aha. Uganda or Choco Coco? Yes. Our default. Our default. Our default angiri. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When uh, Comrade Zedruga is speaking, you see the passion, you see, you see the zest there in of a mother who wants better for her children. So we, we are delighted that you are a part of us. All right. Um, let me invite uh, Comrade Lewis to give an update on uh, a couple of things. Uh, this man had a stint in police. I was teasing him and saying that... Uh, <laughs> Did I say what I told you? Uh, you know, he's lucky not to have spent the night, but uh, we shall see how we work on that. But anyhow, we are glad that you're, you're back, Comrade Lewis. Please come and talk to us. People power. Our power. Our power. Our power. People power. NUP. Everywhere. 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 In Lango. Barara, Acholi, Kaveramaido, Karamoja, Ankole, Bunyolo, even here, everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm delighted to be here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, comrades in the struggle for a better Uganda. As uh, my brother Joel said, all of you are aware that uh, last time, um, a few days ago, I was uh, detained at police for simply putting on uh, uh, the red beret. And of course, it is part of the continuing uh, intimidation uh, together with uh, Luke Mann, who was assaulted actually. He was uh, beaten up and, 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 and his uh, phone taken away simply because he was trying to cover what these people are doing. And we've been challenging these people. If they know that what they are doing is legal, if they are doing is right, if they are do what they are doing is legal, why do they arrest people who are trying to cover those actions? Uh, the moment we go to a police station away from the cameras, they, they assaulted him, took away the phone, and uh, put him in. So it's very, very unfortunate. But I think for me, that proves to us that uh, the people who, are, who govern us are very, very scared of us and they know certainly that their days are numbered. Uh, I wanted to just give another update about uh, 3rd November that, uh, as you all know, we are on course. Our presidential candidate, the Honorable Chagulani Sentamu Robert, will be nominated on the 3rd of November. And uh, to, to, to tell the nation that we are on course, uh, our mission to freedom is ongoing and nothing will stop it. Uh, thirdly, the last time we talked about uh, our, 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 uh, our plans to sue or to bring action against uh, the regime and individual officers who have been participating in certain actions. And indeed one of the cases we are filing this week is in respect to this beret because we had filed another case initially which has taken so long to be heard. And now we are going to uh, pursue other cases against the government, but also individual officers, whether police officers or otherwise. We, I want to also reiterate that this beret that I'm putting on, clearly no sane person 
can look at me and mistake me for a police officer or for a UPDF officer. I mean, that is to take Ugandans for a ride, that's to take Ugandans for fools. That someone will find me dressed like this and stop and salute me, and when I say stop, the person stops, and I say produce, because they, they will mistake me for a UPDF officer, it's uh, such a joke. Um, we also mentioned that uh, there are several, several of our candidates who were not able to uh, get nominated. Some of them were arrested and prevented from getting to the nomination venues. In other cases, our, our people went there to be nominated and they were just blocked. And these uh, people who should be working for an independent electoral commission were giving excuses. The stamp is faint, uh, it's not clear, and then uh, after that they tell them that time is out. So we put appeals, about 28 of them, and uh, we are following up on them to see that all the candidates who at least uh, paid the money and uh, presented themselves are duly nominated. Uh, the final thing was talked about, uh, our manifesto is uh, under the, the final stages and uh, we are going to be launching it very soon. Many people have been asking us what do you stand for, but in brief, I think uh, our Deputy President, uh, Comrade Lina Zedriga, has summarized what our manifesto is all about and what our vision is all about. Today, we are not only launching the poster, but also the symbol for our campaign. And the symbol for our campaign is a new Uganda. Uganda, MPR. The, the slogan for our campaign, the slogan for our campaign is a new Uganda. Uganda, MPR. Ugandensia. How do you call that in... Uh, Uganda Odi, uh -huh. which other language can... Uganda Mpiaka, that is our message. Uh, a new Uganda, a Uganda which works for all citizens, a new Uganda where citizens are equal before under the, and under the law, a new Uganda which respects the rule of law and constitutionalism, a new Uganda where I am free to put on this beret without fearing any repercussions, a new Uganda where the media is not threatened and censured and, and, and forced not to report any matters, a new Uganda where corruption is not the order of the day. A new Uganda where instead of uh, a minister or presidential advisor writing to complain about NUP's political mobilization in Lango, people are talking about uh, rotten service delivery and such other things. So that will be our focus, comrades, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, uh, today uh, we, we, we see that this is another milestone as we embark on this uh, campaign to rid Uganda of dictatorship. And we are also going to be telling you our way forward in terms of uh, the roadmap which has been put up by the Electoral Commission. Uh, certainly, the time given for candidates to campaign is just so, it's too limited. You cannot uh, say, because the NRM, as you know, uh, and President Seven have been campaigning. Just right after the election, they just start campaigning all through. And then now, because they are very, very scared of the people, they are just limiting the campaign period. Uh, to that time. Uh, Mr. Uh, spokesperson, you will allow me in a very special way recognize and appreciate uh, Comrade Chairman Nyanzi, who has been doing a great job uh, with regard to political mobilization and certainly a very big role in terms of collection of signatures that we submitted uh, the other day. Mutu <laughs> Awatu. People power. Our power. power. I thank you. I will certainly not speak any As I'm sure we. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we want to wrap up very quickly with them. Um, you know, we've been talking about the arrests that have been going on of our people and uh, the the state of of our prisons. We we have some of our young people that were arrested recently. Luckily, they are out. They're actually children to Comrade Chairman Nyanzi. You know, this, this gentleman here, <laughs> he's, uh, he's taught, you know, many of us many different things. And I see the, the, the children are also in the struggle for change. And so the other day when police raided this place, they, they took the children. But the children were pretty much at home. They were taken away. They're just going to, in a minute, share their experiences. Let me invite uh, Margaret Nyanzi. Walakira Elijah and Elizabeth Nyanzi, please come. Elijah's situation is actually a bit different uh, because he's underage. He's actually a child. He's below 18, but he was bundled up together with the adults. 
Uh, they will share a little bit of their take. You comrades will allow me, media people, these microphones overshadow us and now we have uh, people who are not shorter, they are just, uh, they are just vertically challenged. So you're going to allow me to do this. They actually not show. You know when, when you when you're that height, you're not short. You're just stable, stable on the ground. And that's also very important because there are people who can easily fall. Because they are too, you know. So for us who are not very tall, you're very stable as you move. All right. So they'll each share in just a minute, English and Uganda and Kenya. Okay. Thank you very much for this opportunity that many don't get. What I'm going to share is an experience that many innocent people go through. On the 14th of October, my siblings and I, among other people that I don't know and those I knew, were arrested without any warrant or any reason because we are found at home, just chilling like usual youth. And we are just taken off in very big cars. We we're just even surprised because they just bumped in into our places, into our rooms, and they took us to the police station. Uh, there we were detained for a very long time without even sentence. We didn't know why they arrested us. We are just confused. We are, we are scared as, as the young people who are not used to these things. It was after like three days after being confined in a very close, we are closely packed. After being confined for a long time, they brought us to court in a very big truck filled with very many people. They were also confused why they had arrested us. Then the judge told us when we reached the court that we were putting on army uniforms. We were Mm, violating the president the president's directives which got me confused because they found me at home you understand here in Kamocha so after that they remanded us for a period of I don't I don't even remember like a week they told us we shall come back on the 23rd before even giving our lawyers a chance to maybe amend the debt to a, a more suitable debt. Then, after that, we are driven to Chigo prison. I never thought I would go to prison because in my life I've never put on any army uniform. I've never violated any... I've never done any crime in my life. Then I was taken to prison as innocent as I was. They placed us in a room confined with very many people of different backgrounds murderers criminals of various ways like it was so torturing to my mind because the the only thing i was incriminated like i don't know why they accused me falsely because of something i, was, I wasn't even putting on anything there were confined for about five days without getting out but we are closely packed which i'm sure it violates prisoners rights we are closely packed you can't sleep you sleep on the floor they give us animal food the one that some of us rare animals you usually feed chicken with they call it chachu then pigs as well that's what we have been feeding on and i want to tell my fellow youth this can happen to you anytime. It doesn't matter if you are in politics. This, this involves everyone. I pity every, any youth who doesn't get involved in their political system, the government system, because it influences our education, it influences our futures, the economics, our future careers, like everything. Just know that there were mothers, there are people who were pregnant, women of different backgrounds, tough, humble. But I thank God I managed to survive that situation. 
though we were confined for over five days without getting out of the room the condition was bad no sanitation hygiene was very poor sleeping on the floor once you sleep on on this side tonight the following day you have to change you can't you can't turn yourself like the way you turn in the bed at home you have to sleep that same position in that same position up to the next morning then the next night you think about turning sleeping on the other side the bugs like a lot of things but i thank god i survived that and i want to tell everyone all the young this can happen to you anytime they can find you anytime anywhere when you have done nothing wrong and i'm glad that many prisoners pray like they pray more than us they they wish more than we do outside for the government to change i was so I, I, I felt like they wanted to break my spirit. They wanted to demoralize me, to put me in fear. But they, they just gave me more courage and more power to stand out. Because I realized that it is really unfair. The conditions, they are violating all prisoners' what? rights. As young as I am, I've experienced this and it has just instead of being broken I, I i just want to work hard to change because 90 percent of prisoners are arrested innocently they're not given a right to talk to their lawyers they they're not called in court at the point at the appointment times like they are so confused everyone is so confused I thank you for this opportunity to express myself. Though I don't, I know, I don't know if I've expressed everything, but that's what I can do. But to my fellow youth, please, those in university bragging around, being cool, you can finish your law degree, but you will not have a job. You can finish anything, but you'll be, you'll be broken down after you leave school. We have to work hand in hand because our governments influence there there are, there are countries that have good governments by the way better than this i thank you for this opportunity thank you so much that's all that's what i have to say for this moment okay. um actually since my dad deals with the with the informal sector i would prefer to do with luganda in my communication <laughs> um Kutwali mokomera, amani ya gange, zewa la kirelaija, um, emiaka, ni nini emiaka kumi na msanvu, ida na sindi kwa mokomera, na wasajja, abada bolinge emiaka jange, nevi ya mokomera irof kusoma bula mtebu ba bwangu, neche unisa, kiatete, mokomera jebi jebi ya dipiktinga, ati biya tuongeza fena mani. Na bali yewe rumanya nti jeba kumosindi kumana aino moyo mulungi, ubo moyo mugumu, ugua people power, aiongeza kuingeza kwa maani, kamba kamba nyonyo le rachi, ba tu sindi kama kumera gano, ransonga karudi teka teka na gua, kwa weka gua, jeba tu sindi kutoa kaya na we no no funo bobulumi, no manya aku sindi sene inga jaja, ransonga, wasajja bano, ba joga. Chenyonga, chenyonga ambako ati chilala, basa jaba no una kurebwa tu kwa tabanda gani tiba tianyo? Engai jo sindi ka timu ya bantu, chikumi ya video kwa tomwa na wemia kakumi na msanvu ngabe tolo de chizimbe muari, che unisa. Na tuwa na kangi wangu nda ba nendo ba zoba ba la bika ba la zoba nkuwe sekoni munda muno, nene unya nendo ba zoba genda kumplatinga mu mundo. Nendo ne virobo zovia jambi nji nendo baza katika na kula nchi ya uvantu alaje simani hichi mitoe virobo zovia jambi nji na uvo moyo mugu mu ngada bila na risikuati dua risikuati dua nzeka ngada baba na angi bila na bavo hariba bayola imekuwa ano ba chali bangi betu nyumi ya na bavo na bavo hariba bayola demo tu kamu komera tu hariba nji kuegambanga nevi okusula. Uweba ka, noko ukweba ka, notula, noko kutula, noimirida, ugulamu nebukusobeda, 
ngatoina kubane mukomera mwetu ali twali banji ensura ngambi nyo webaka wano toso achusa mukono kulambu ayo dibu binyo nyo nenga we unya bakwati dechi kujemera bidagiro bya president bidagiro chebyo kuba nkungana nenga we tuna mukomera mwe muri era muri mulukungana kuba we twali mukomera ndaba meeting je bale meseza ate bajituziza mukomera kugamba nabo bayine ngeri je basupportinga mu people power era ne baza police orecho je bali za dalala kuba je bako motu sindi kayo nga tuli banji ale tuongera guma tuongera manya nti aha kiri bwe kiti wetubano tukoze tutya kuba kati kwa makafana ni wali mujafu na te wano ndobo ziterivuddeyo ono te bamulide bulunji wali mukomera muri mukarumo kamwe teri abagana oma munyumiza sawa paka yo mukowa munyumya kwe gamba bulamu wali bwe bucho ne azura people power aba aba office abasobolo fayo ne bamanya ati abana mwe bali ne bajja ne basobolo kuba ko ke batu wayo era mukomera ya 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 komekerera ngali lili fair akade akatu kugena mu koti na indo boza nange bantu wala na bakulu wanga eromu la muziki ye chanze ngenda chitali ya ila mbakulu obulambu ongero kaluba ne la still no wa police occ id na ye yarabi ya dalangono mwana ba mukwati de bwelele ya nanta katate nze kwe gamba abakulu bali bela bikiride nze ne bala batenga nze sigenze nabo ne bongera to gumo mutima ile cho tuche baliza katonda we bali denyo we bali dala all right Thank you, thank you. Let's appreciate these youngsters with a hand clap. Thank you, thank you. Omulabe chairman, Nyanzi Junior. Agana waga ambekele in the river Kurubaya. Mwana tani sozo ganya. But we are glad that you're strong. And we are glad that you're encouraging fellow young people to be focused on things that matter. To major on majors and to minor on minors. All right. Um... We, we are going to do uh, the most important thing for today, and that's unveiling our campaign poster, the campaign poster for our presidential flag bearer, Honorable Chagulanyi Sentamu. And let's have it brought here first. There you go. So I'm going to invite, uh, I'm going to invite, uh, our leaders, uh, Comrade Deputy DL Flavia, uh, Mr. Update Comrade Nyanzi, please come and uh, let's let's officially unveil this. Come and stand here, Mama. <laughs> Stand on the right. Uh -huh. Okay, no, 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 let's actually change the beat. Okay, because we have covered the media. Uh, is that better anyway? Do we move it? Uh, extend a bit. Yes. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, because this is the most critical event for today, and we like it. Okay. okay. Move the lower one. Uganda, the world we present to you our campaign. Poster for His Excellency Chagulani Center Murambas Bobuwai. People power! People power! People power! Any UP? Everywhere! Everywhere! Chagulani? Ambulance! All right, all right. Om Karunga Wete, Tuliyamale Ngule, Tuliyamale Ngule, Tuliyamale Ngule, Om Karunga Wete, Tuliyamale Ngule, Tulibimba Muyugande Pia. All right, thank you ladies and gentlemen. We'll leave it somewhere here for the media to 
we can resume our seats and the media can take shots of it alone, I believe. Eh? Okay, we, we can clear so that uh, they take shots of just it alone. Let's just create some space there. Okay, um, so as, as emphasis, we, we are going to have... Uh, <laughs> Eh. Uh, all right, all right. So for Okay, okay. So for emphasis, very quick emphasis. All right. Uh so for very quick emphasis, that picture there is the one that's going to appear on the ballot paper. And so it's important that uh, this young handsome president uh, <laughs> and billionaire as such but also, we, we are putting police and the army on notice. We are going to put our posters in different parts of the country. Uh, we have seen you, police, and the army pull down Honorable Chagulanyi's posters while you're putting up Mr. Museveni's posters. Uh, these posters here are allowed within the law. When you are aspiring for a position, and the EC, and that's why we are telling the Electoral Commission to come out very clearly on this. We are hoping that uh, police will stop the bad man as they have been doing, of pulling down Honorable Chagulanyi's posters. They are going to be everywhere. You can uh, rest assured of that. They are going to be here within Kampala, Wakiso. They are going to be in Gulu, in Arua. They are going to be in Amuru. They are going to be in Busoga, in Jinja, Mbale, Bukedi. They are going to be in Kabale. They are going to be in Barara, Rukunjiri, Bushenyi. They are going to be in all parts of the country. Uh, our, our hope is that police will not antagonize the process of us having these uh, posters out there and uh, we we encourage especially our candidates uh, to make sure this work gets to happen out there as much as it possibly can happen all right so that's it for today thank you so very much for coming through uh all right i see there's uh, we can pick maybe two questions yes sir uh. mm. Uh, mm. The slogan is very important because we had uh, the SG and then the vice president talk about the slogan and what they do, but I think they were going to budget. They refuse to talk Luganda. <laughs> okay, uh, then Samali. Mm. She's asking uh, why is the beret not on uh, the poster? I, like I've said, this is the picture that is going to be on the ballot paper. And so it's important that we begin to popularize that picture. Uh, so we are going to be putting out the posters on the ballot paper. If I know you are on a Chagulani, Gababi one Rayo, I tell you, I'm seven year police number Jabi, Babi Timba. So, got to subident the police, they gained a Kuchanka and Yaka of Bono. If I know you be not to gain a BC Indica, begin the Kubeda and between the Guanga, Vienjaolo, begin the Kubeda, a Guru, a Rua, a Muru, Lira, Mubusoga, Jinja, Mbale, Bukedi, Muesti, Barara, Bushenyi, Kavale, Nemu Centro, begin the Kubuna, posters in Zigan Kubuna and between the Guanga, you know, a Vienjaolo, I got to subident the police. Tegenda ate, geza kuku chanka la nyanga Bako zesa efujo nempi saza wembi Katisubirenti ate tapagenda kutata ganya Kawefwe wa fono uh, Kusonge yo Echifana nyecho, chitiko slogan Jituko zesa, auna buchagula njage ndoko zesa mukampeini A new Uganda, Uganda mpya Tuagala kulaba, Uganda mpya mubuli ingedi Tuagala kulaba obupia Mubie fuga vya guanga ya tulino Wana chema ya tufu koye Tuwa gala ugulembeze obuja Tuwa gala ukulaba Nga mubie njigiriza Wabele yobu pia Aba anaba sobeda wansi we miti UPE na chie vizimbe vige nda bagu ila Tuwa gala ugu pia Tuwa gala ebie njigiriza na vyo Bidebuja Tuwa gala ebie amaluwa lido Ebie ovulamu Na vebe ebie jia Nti tulabe ugu pia uh, mubia maluwa liyo tulabwe upia uh, Mubia mubia abu abantu Osanga maluwa liyo Abachala baza liyo wansi 
kutaka bali awo no bwana bwawe bakazala nga bali bubi bufunya wo infections twagala okulabo bupya mu nsongezi twagala okulabo bupya mu mungeri abakulembeze je bakwata mu banansi ba na Uganda baba tukulugunya baba isa bubi atenga banansi awo beba bossi baba kulembeze twagala obupya mu nsongezo twagala obupya umateka agaisibwa agafuga bana Uganda mwala bali twali tweka lakasa ku nsonga za OTT natugamba ndi ah kino kichamu twagala obupya mu nsongezo twagala obupya mu bulingeri yonna 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 so chetu batugamba ndi a new Uganda Uganda empya mwe bale nyo mwe bali dala yes sir there's a phone here making so much noise it is ringing okay yes uh, just a question yes sir uh, Mm. All right. Um, regarding the verification, the EC told us that it takes a bit of time because the signatures are many. Um, so they are taking time to verify them. We have no problem. So uh, let's wait and see. Hopefully they'll finish soon enough and uh, we get to have a report on that. So it's their call. I don't know if there's not enough manpower, whatever the case might be, or the signatures are too many. But ours was to send the signatures. Hopefully they'll be verified and uh, done away with soon enough. Regarding the beret, the beret is still with us. We still use it as uh, a campaign tool, as part of our paraphernalia, and that's why we wear them out there campaigning. That's why we are wearing them now. Uh, this EC insisted, and you saw that actually beginning with the youth elections, councillors, and of course MPs. Uh, they rejected all pictures that have a beret out of fear or whatever the case might be. But for us, we have no problem. Even if the beret is not on the ballot paper, we can still wear it wherever, all right? Uh, so this is the image that will be on the ballot paper. Uh, but the beret is still with us. We still wear it to rally Ugandans out there to get to be part of the cause that we are involved in. Very quickly, Ensonga, Eyemikono. Wa wakachiko kebe kulonda, katuteke zezako, tikache kenenya. Emikono jino, emikono jinzo kubanga minji java itidideko. Katuba wa wude kubanga fichi tuwa kula kutuwa le mikono jona jona jituwa funa ni tuba wa Kakati baina tula jona jona bajeke nenye Wate baina mandi pawe malaba kozi wa malaba na china chi Evyo mruza parliament yineba yamba kone yo guafe Gwari guwa kubawa mikono jafe jona jituwa kunganya Tujibawe Katibo kabatule enchane gulo bajeke nenye Bamalilize batubuli lecheche vude mnsongezo Ensonga ye chifana nyi uh, Wewao fe akakofi ila kanotucha kakoze sa Kwate kame nyamateka gona. Ida tuja kambalanga, nga tulie yotu kungaba na Uganda, tuba sababu lulu, ni wano tubu, ni wano tubu amba de, na chi. Uh, newe wao, akachiko hebe kulo, nda mwatu kafu no kutia. Uh, ni kagana, evifana nyebiali ken kofi, na mwatu juku kidanti, hapavubu kanga, vewa andiso, kuita mbulu wawe, wa kansalazi, wa MP, na chi. Baati ya nivagamba, muna, femudu sasile, ufukofi ila tuja bukiriza, uh, subakirize evifana nyi, evitali kongofi, na watalibu zibu. Kumanga chagulanyi, asigala chagulanyi. Mbamu wagalange nkofila kwe ringa teriko. Ok. Neba candidates iba fe, fe na fe na haba sigade. Nti mwatu wa na Uganda. Batu wagala mumuti mamunda. Owe nkofila bajitu jekwe, bajitu ambude. Obachi, obachi. Banda Uganda bagala nchi uka chuka. Chagulanyi mbamu wagala mwatu nga nkofila tetuna jita andike. Nkofila eno. Uh, nga tuta andisao. Theali uo. Niba muagala, niba musembeza. Semkofi na tujikoze sa kunga pa na Uganda. Ila tuja siga langa tujikoze sa. Niwe wale meleko niba gama. Ntia haku balot pepa. Nkofi na tuja kubi edako. Te wali buzibu. Tuja bawa ichifana nyi. Ila wa na Uganda. Mbamu laba. Ndiyo yoye nyi ni chagula nyi senta mu robati. E. Omu what? <laughs> Alright. E. Banaya tebi buzo bie yonge de. Alright. I'll just take two Derricks and Samalis. Mm, okay, uh, then the request. Uh, mm. uh, uh, 
Mm. Uh, but this hasn't taken place. Mm. Uh, I had that I was in the case that we abandoned the continent. It's going to take place again. Mm. 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 All right. Um, I'll, I'll begin with uh, that very question. Yes, uh, we, we did talk about doing countrywide tours, opening up our offices as a political party, because that's provided for within the law. We are a registered political party, and so we should be able to go out there and connect to the people, open offices, and so on. That is still on course. Uh, obviously, we've got a bit engaged, deal with the case issue. Luckily, it's going out of the way. We're also getting set for nominations. Uh, but regardless, you know, uh, we have um, about two months or thereabout to connect with Ugandans, we are going to come to them wherever they are. Uh, then summarily, what, what is your question again? Manifesto. Yes, the manifesto. Like our deputy president did mention, she clarified very clearly. Our manifesto launch is uh, coming up very soon. We have now unveiled the poster, which we are going to put out there. We'll be letting you know pretty soon. Our policy team, which has been doing incredible work, uh, spent, you know, uh, spending sleepless nights uh, putting together a manifesto, of course, in liaison with the rest of us leaders. They are in final touches, so soon enough we are going to be unveiling that to Ugandans out there. Ensonga, Eya, Honorable Chagula, Nina Favokulembeze, Ukutalage, Gwanga, Angatuwa ya muko nebanda Uganda, Angatugula ozi offices za fe, Zozi chali, munte kateka ya fe, Wow, tubati tubati zemi sango, Tuba za katondo kumisango, Gwavudeo, ni tugu wangula, Katuteke kila nominations nebi dala, uh, Tuine miezi inge vili nga kalutika na veda wo Okuvera anga tukeende liba na Uganda Tuwa ye muko na bo Office tuzigule So kawefuboyo achari wonyo Era tuja kuwa tumutandika tuja bate geza Dilo tutandika Ate era tutandikira wa Insonga ya manifesto uh, Uwe chitiba deputy president wafe Ajo gedeko 